So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today I thought we'd start sort of a new series called Challenge of the Week. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to do this every week, uh, but what I do, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to pick a league, and I'm going to be playing as the bottom team in that league, currently, at the time that I play the match, up against the top team. Today we're going to start off with the Premier League, Sunderland currently lying bottom yet to get a win. Disappointment for them. Obviously, a new manager now with uh, Sam Allardyce. What can he do? We'll have to wait and see. And then we're coming up against Man City, who are currently lying top of the table. I'm going to be playing on Superstar. It's going to be a level support off. I know it's going to be tough, but that's the whole point of the series. And then we're going to sort of keep a table going each week to see how many wins and draws and defeats I get. So, Superstar, 10-minute match to start with. No extra time, no penalties at the end. Three subs, we'll have emotions on, we'll leave the conditions as random, injuries on uh, stadium, I'm going to put them all on random, uh, ball type, we will use the order them, uh, and obviously the kits are there. Now I'm going to quickly dive into game plan, tactical menu, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think I'm probably going to play sort of a tactical fluid formation, uh, we're going to have to defend this game, so I'm going to just play around with this real quickly, and... Uh, Definitely push players a little bit back because I know Man City are going to be tough. They're going to have a lot of players coming forward. We're going to start with Jermaine Defoe up top uh, and see what he can do. So that's a kickoff. When we're in possession, we're going to push players forward. Lenz has got some pace. You know, I'm, I'm no problem with him playing sort of second striker there. Rodwell pushing forward as well. Uh, Catamol can stay back. Larson push up a little bit more, but I don't want to push too many forward. Uh, and when out of possession we're going to have to really defend. I mean, when, when we haven't got the ball... Uh, I've actually just switched players there. But I'm really going to have to put these players back uh, and defend in numbers and try and catch Man City on the break somehow. We'll leave Defoe up there, obviously. He's the man. Might have to change that around. Uh, that's pretty good, I think, for now. Any other changes? I've tried to update the teams as much as I can. Uh, and Via, I can't seem to find him in the game. I don't know if he's in there or not. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Fletcher could put him up top afterwards. But I think we'll go with this. We'll see how we do. Yedlin's pretty quick. Uh, what's his pace? Yeah, look at that. 94. If anything, <laughs> use him and get forward uh, at the best that we can do. Captain. Uh, well, we'll make it O'Shea. That's fine. All right. So let's dive into the game and see how we do in our first game of Challenge of the Week. So here we go. And we're not going to worry about looking at the lineups. You guys have already seen that. We know they're going to have a very, very solid team. City leading the Premier League at the moment. Sunderland are having a hard time. Cannot seem to get anything going. Can we change that here today? We are going to find out. So here we go. I'm not sure if I'm going to show the full game. I'll probably show the majority of it. And then see just how much action there really is. But I think today, you know, we've got to try and abuse what we have. We've got some pace down the wings with Yedlin. And here he goes. Go on, Yedlin, my son. Oh, that's unlucky. It's a good challenge, though, by Kolarov. I don't want to push him too far up, Yedlin. Otherwise, it will cause some problems. He'll be out of position before you can say, uh, Bob's your uncle. Now, I'm not going to press them too high. The pressing really is going to come in our final third. I know they love to play that ball through the middle. And if you do press too much, they will find gaps on Superstar. Pass support off is no joke. Well played. Uh, and Holt. Be careful, lads. This is a little bit risky. I know I shouldn't be playing this across my face. But it's okay. Fortunately, we've got a, a nice sunny day today. Conditions could have been rainy. They could have been wet. I'm going to hit that long. I'm just going to hit it long. Go on, Yedlin. I don't think he's going to get there. No. Too much. So yeah, we're going to be going through the leagues and uh, see what we can do. Go on, Defoe. I tell you what, Rodwell. Go on. Oh, I should have hit it earlier. What a chance that was. Rodwell just couldn't get out of his feet. Man, City could have been a goal down there. I've been using manual shoot actually, or manual shooting recently, sort of holding L2 and hitting it, I'm scoring some absolute belters with it. Every now and then, Ronaldo smacking one in. So, may use it now and then a little bit more. Well, here comes the Man City uh, flourish. That's a good challenge, Cabal. 
Barini. You know, you know, Sunderland, they don't have a bad team. I don't know, they just can't seem to get a rhythm going at the moment. We definitely would fancy them to, to get out of the bottom three. Oh, that's risky. Uh, that's what happens when you don't quite put enough oomph on the pass. Larson get in there, Yaya. Sterling, who actually bagged his first hat-trick for City over the weekend. It wasn't the most emphatic hat-trick, to be honest. Azus Navas could have scored, but I don't know what he was playing at when he was trying to dribble the ball in. This is a problem now. De Bruyne! Get it out. Now, that didn't go out, apparently. Going to be a, a goal kick or maybe a corner. I'm not sure. I'll have another look at this. That's for the strike. Good defending. Long, hopeful clearance. Defoe. I don't know why Defoe left in the first place, to be honest. He's a decent player. Him to go to the MLS really wasn't a great idea for him. He's better than that, to be fair. I mean, the MLS has grown, sure, but still, you want to be playing at a, the highest level you can play at. There's Otamendi, Zabaleta. Well, we're struggling to get the ball now. Man City are just starting to pass it around us. I mean, I'd take a point. <laughs> why not? But a win would be even better. Catamol, that's a good pass. Lenz has got some pace. How's the delivery? It's not bad. Rodwell off. He went down. Well, Yedlin will take this. That's even better delivery. Lenz again. Oh, yes. Pick it out the old onion bag. Sunderland lead. Oh, what a volley. Well, it was Yedlin's ball in. Have a look at this. This is where his 94 speed and acceleration comes into play. That's a great ball in. And then Lunds does well. And what a volley that is. Pass Hart. Oh, he's going to absolutely smash this forward. Pantilamon. It's not a bad ball, you know. Oh, Rodwell. He's causing some problems for City. The former City man. He went there. I don't know why he went there, to be honest doesn't make sense to me when players that are young they're playing well at certain teams that they feel like oh well I've got to go and play for a big club it's not worth it it could be another goal here to foe oh man City could be two down what a delivery what a header that's a good save Otamendi Sterling Try and keep them quiet. De Bruyne. Well played, Anolt. Uh, De Bruyne's looked pretty good for City, I have to say. Scored a couple of goals for him so far. All important one in the Champions League. A goal that Man City really did need because they are struggling. A lot of the English sides are struggling this year in the Champions League. Arsenal with a fantastic result against Bayern Munich. Picking up their three points. Well, here's Fernandinho. Lost possession. Well, that's been a decent half so far. Barini, Yedlin, he's been an absolute tank so far. Oh, unlucky. Aguero, he's the man I've got to watch because that a quick one too. He's in on goal. It's in the back of the net. It's De Bruyne. Aguero. Clock does tick down now. This could be a chance though. Sterling, you see how many uh, red and white shirts are around him though. Getting players back behind the ball. Nice turn by De Bruyne. Get it out, boys. You don't want to concede at this time. Anywhere will do. Finally get it away. And at half time, we do lead by a goal to nil. Okay, so 45 minutes left to try and hang on here. I brought on Wes Brown. I actually forgot to look at the form arrows before I started the game. John O'Shea's on blue. So is Rodwell, but Rodwell's actually playing quite well, so I don't really want to take him off. But I uh, will take John O'Shea off and stick on Wes Brown. Oh, there's a chance! And whoa, ho Yaya Torre getting a little bit excited there. You don't often see him pull that out of the bag. Now go on, Barini. Nice bit of play. And we'll start again. Catamol. Finding Brown. Another former United man. Lenz. 
hit that one over the top. Uh, that's not going to be quite where I wanted it. Well played. Try and swing that in. Oh, what a ball that is. Oh, could have been good for Barini. Just a little bit too much for the Italian. Just got to try and read Man City's passes. I don't want to go diving in. I'm happy for them to get it down the wings more than anything. Zabaleta looks to feed it through. Sterling, I don't want to dive in on him. It's good defending. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, good save. Get it out. Berini. I need Jermaine Defoe to make a run here. Doesn't seem to want to do it. I've just had to go long and hope for the best. It hasn't turned out to be a bad ball. I mean, that's generally what Sunderland would do, wouldn't it? Get it out. Push the defenders up a little bit. It's all right. De Bruyne. Good challenge by Cabal. He's actually on red. He's a player that definitely is up for this game. But he's now out of position. Torre. Company. De Bruyne. Watch Aguero. Watch Aguero. Oh, fortunately they got that all wrong. Oh, it's not quite what I wanted to do there. And that's the problem now. I'm playing very defensive. I haven't necessarily got players pushing up too much. It's basically a game of cat and mouse and try and let City try and break us down. With 25 minutes on the clock. And if we can catch them on the break, all the better. Sort of what happened in the first goal. Well, the only goal of the game. This could be a chance. Oof. Here's Kolarov. That ball over the top could happen. Well played, Yedlin. Well, he's going to get away from Kolarov, and there's no catching him. How's the delivery? Ah, it's too close. That's the thing with pass support off. You never quite know with the, the crosses. Going to get it absolutely spot on, otherwise it ends up being a waste. I'm chasing the game here. 60 odd percent possession Man City had in the first half. I don't mind them passing it around the back. It's the final third that's going to kill me. Fernandinho skipping past one. Silva. Aguero. It's not a bad ball to find Collar off, but there's the pace of Yedlin. I'm going to switch this one because I've seen some space here. Lens didn't win the header. Larson. And Alt. That's better, boys. Feed him off. Go on, Lens. Oh, I thought he was quicker than that. Especially against Zabaleta, who's not the fastest by any means. De Bruyne. That's given away carelessly this time. Nice bit of play. Let's feed it square. Catamol. Over the top, looking for Barini. It's uh, an athletic clearance by Silva. Larson. Rodwell. That's a good pass. Oh, good challenge. Very good challenge. Read it all the way. You can boo all you want. Or boo all you want, lads. You're not going to get the foul for that. That's good play, though, isn't it? It's taken three of my players out of the game there. We've got seven minutes to play. This is where it's going to get dangerous. Well played, Kabul. Brilliant stuff. And what about that for a pass as well? It's lovely, boys. Absolutely lovely to watch. I'll tell you what, Yedling could be in here. He's gone down. Referee doesn't want to give anything. Sterling. Well play, Rodwell. It's a good challenge by Torre. Another selection of boos. And now we could have a problem. That's a fantastic challenge, Brownie. Berini, give and go here. Not bad. We've got no stoppage time. It looks like we're going to start off with a win. Absolute delight with that, to be fair. And there it is. Well, Sunderland pick up their first win of the season. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you are looking forward to this series. If you guys want me to continue, you know, I'll start doing the City at ah, La Liga, whatever else we have uh, to do on here as well. So we'll keep mixing it up. 
And definitely get some new teams going every week. There you can see, I mean, I got dominated in the possession, but got the job done. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care.